All right, what's up? Welcome back in Garnet Trust interview. You see him right there on the screen. It is Juice Wells. Uh, Juice, we hadn't talked to you on a NIL interview, I think, since before the season. So, uh, obviously, a lot has happened since then, man. We're going to tell the fans a little bit about what's been going on with you. So, uh, first of all, appreciate you doing this again, man, and how you doing? Most definitely appreciate it, too. I'm doing good, man, you know, just chilling, laid back. Definitely, man. So everybody's getting ready for the bowl game over there. We're going to talk to Juice a little bit about that. But first of all, we got to tell you about progressive screen printing and embroidery at 864-487-3871. That is at 345 Winslow Avenue. That's in Gaffney, South Carolina, 29341. They are the proud sponsor of this NIL interview, I should say, with Juice. Uh, give them a shout. They do, uh, I'm looking right now, screen printing, embroidery, vinyl graphics, uh, direct-to-garment printing. Pretty much any type of screen printing you need, uh, they'll take care of you. So, Juice, um, I, I guess first of all, man, uh, some Gamecock fans were uh, freaking out the other day. They saw you weren't at practice. Um, I know you had uh, had a little bit of a transportation issue, but you are back in Columbia now, safe and sound. And uh, so first and foremost, I uh, just want to confirm, um, are you going to be playing in the bowl game this year? <laughs> yes, I will be playing in the bowl game. We have a ton up, man. All right, man. So um, – Obviously, uh, that's right around the corner, a couple of weeks away. And, um, you know, I, I know sometimes, uh, a lot of times, athletes say nameless, faceless opponent. But how uh, how excited are you for this opportunity to go to the Gator Bowl and uh, face a, a program in Notre Dame that obviously is kind of like a, a little bit of a traditional power, man? Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. You know, uh, it's a different, you know, team in a different conference, you know, so we get to get some different type of work, you know, um, they're a very good team, you know, and uh, we're just happy to be out there and we're going to go out there and do what we can, you know, do our best. So, Juice, so I, I know when we talked to you before the season, you know, I know you talked about sort of taking advantage of this opportunity that you have, uh, you know, playing with a little bit of a chip on your shoulder. I think fans mm -hmm. saw that from your personality on the field this year. But when you sort of look back on the regular season, your first year at South Carolina, um, just kind of give us the breakdown. How did you feel like it went for you? What what went as planned? What do you want to improve on moving forward, man? You know, uh, this season was, you know, fun. I had a lot of fun, you know, but I definitely went in there, like I said, with a chip on my shoulder. And uh, I feel like I showed the Gamecocks fans, you know, a little bit of what I'm capable of doing. You know, um, it was it was, it was was fun, man. It, it was tough at times also, you know, just, you know, just trying to get the offense down pat. Which, which, but people seen, you know, once we got things down pat, everything was smooth, you know, and uh, we came out with two big wins, you know, and um, – yeah, I, more of the story, I just had fun. Man. I just went out there and just played my best. And uh, the team, we definitely look good, you know, and I'm just happy, man, with our outcome. You know, we could have, you know, did a, a, a few things better against different teams. But, I mean, uh, overall, you know, I feel, I feel like we had a, a pretty good season. Yeah, so obviously, like you said, the last couple of games, uh, it kind of went to another level on offense. It looked like um, you were South Carolina's leading receiver. And I, I know you and Spencer – Worked really hard in the offseason to get on the same page. But down the stretch, it seemed like y'all are really just uh, locked in. What what was it about you think those last two games where everything kind of clicked? You know, uh, those last two games, you know, we really was just on some, you know, let's just go out there and play. You know what I'm saying? Like, we really wasn't, you know, thinking too much. We really, like, you know, slimmed the playbook down a lot. And just went out there and did, you know, the simple things. And uh, we just played. You know, it was it really wasn't a lot of thinking. It really wasn't a lot of strategies and all that type of stuff. We know that the other teams had, you know, more to lose than we did. You know what I'm saying? So we just went out there and played and just ball. And, and that's – I feel like that's how the game should be played. You know, I feel like, you know, you shouldn't have to go out there and try to, you know, you know strategize a, a whole lot against different teams you know especially when you had the better athletes you know we, we clearly had the better athletes against you know both teams we just went out there and play you know we didn't look at you know with their ranking and all that type of stuff we just went out there and play man so uh let's talk about that south carolina tennessee game for a second mm -hmm. obviously i mean the entire offense was in the zone that day scored on just about every single possession what what was like i guess the mood or the mindset or the vibe on the sideline as y'all are putting up just touchdown after touchdown after – and the crowd – I mean, the crowd was going yeah. insane, and you could just feel all the momentum shift, and it was like, I don't I don't know if they're going to be stopped tonight is yeah. the way it felt just yeah. watching it. What was it like on the sideline for you? I think, you know, the team understood, you know, before going in the game that, you know, this is a big opportunity, you know, to, you know, just show the Gamecock fans and, you know, just the school itself that this can change the trajectory of the season, you know, and – uh. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like everybody understood that, so everybody was locked in, and it really didn't. We, I really don't think that anybody thought about, you know, that record or, or, or the type of team they were because we believed in ourselves so much, you know that. Uh, and and it just it just went everything went our way, you know. But overall, it was crazy, man. You know, we had Cam Smith locked in on Jayla Hyatt. You know, uh, we had, you know, it was just crazy like that. That part right there would really, you know. Had me turned up a lot, you know, seeing Cam go out there do his thing. But other than that, man, you know, we just went out there and just played. And on the sideline, it was just like, forget it. You know, we ain't got nothing to lose. Let's just go out there and ball. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. So uh, then the next week, um, you get another big win, go to Clemson, beat them. I mean, they hadn't lost a home game in like, I think it was four or five years or something crazy before that game. Y'all go beat them. What, what did that game mean to you? I mean, you're, you're not from the state of South Carolina, so did it? Did it hit you at any point just being around, uh, you know, just in Columbia, around your classmates, how big the Clemson game is for them? Or was it just kind of like, I just want to go perform and uh, and sort of not even really about the rivalry, I guess? Yeah, so, you know, going into the game, well, going into that week, I really didn't know how big the rivalry was. I was just playing ball, you know. Mm-hmm. It didn't really hit me till, uh, till pregame. Me and Juju, we was on – on Clemson sideline, when they student section, and we started like talking junk to their student section, and the whole crowd was just like, boo, like it got loud. And then after that, they DJ played, we ready. And then I was like, oh yeah, like this John lit, like you feel me? Like, and then I was like, all right, I see what they talk about, you know. Then the crowd was cussing at us, yelling at us, and then all our, all our boys came over there and started talking to their crowd. Like, I was like, oh yeah, this one of the ones for sure. Then I, I think like a few, a few minutes after that, I started to look up in the um in the banners and I seen like the national championship, you know, banners or whatever. I'm like, oh yeah, like ah, right, you feel me? Like I'm in that mode now, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, that's when I kind of figured out how much this game meant to me. So uh yeah, for sure. What what can you say about Spencer, man? Like it felt like even when he had the couple of picks early on, he like hopped up. Never looked rattled, never looked concerned. He just kept playing his game, kept throwing passes. Um, what was it? I mean, it, it felt like he was completely locked in, even with those early couple of little throws he would want back. Um, was, what is it like to have your QB locked in like that? Yeah, he, he didn't care. Like, he didn't care about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole game, like, on the sideline, we go down. You know, he's like, all right, forget it. Let's go. Like, it was an, it was like a – it was definitely a different type of Spencer out there for sure. You know, it, he just didn't care. You know what I'm saying? He was like, what we got to lose? Let's go out there and ball. You know what I'm saying? Let's just keep on doing our thing. He was loose. He was confident. He was, you know, precise. Like, he was chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got in his head after the pick. I'm like, Cuz, you good. Don't worry about that. Just just go out there and keep on balling. Like, we straight. You know what I'm saying? We good. I'm, I'm rooting the DBs on. Like, everybody just knew, like, we was good. Like, we didn't really – care and that's the one thing I did love about this team you know after like even after like losses against other teams we'll still come in there Monday you know and just go out there and still have a wonderful Monday practice like we didn't care about you know like us losing and all that stuff because we knew we still had another appointment another appointed opponent the next week you know what I'm saying so why even trip you know what I'm saying it's over with let's go to the next one so there, there was a really cool video on social media I'm sure you saw it where it was like in the huddle before the final first down where they ran the little quick throw to you, mm-hmm. you go for it for the first down. What are you thinking um, in the huddle? We say, all right, the ball's coming to me. Mm-hmm. If I make a first down, game over, night, night, we win this game. For one, it's got to say something that senior, you know, captain Eric Douglas, a guy that's been here yeah. forever, says, we're getting the ball to juice. And then you kind of, you had to make a couple of guys miss and, and yeah. get upfield a little bit there. But what, what was going through your mind going into that play? So uh, going into that play, how everybody was in that huddle, I wasn't even in the huddle. I was just, you know, ready for whatever. You know, I was I was out the way. You know what I'm saying? I was just – that's how I am all the time. Like, when, when things get intense, I don't really like to be in the middle of the huddle trying to, you know, do this, do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? I just be out the way and whatever coach call, you know, I'm going to just try to, you know, you know, do the assignment to my best ability. But that also, you know, show how much trust the guys got into me. And I really appreciate that from them boys. You know what I'm saying? Because – you know, to have that, you know, trust in your teammates shows a lot, you know, about you and your teammates, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I really appreciate them for that, you know. But uh, going into the play, once I got the call, we ran that play on them, you know, multiple times before we ran that play. So 
I kind of figured, you know, that uh, they was going to, you know, be on it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I knew I was going to have to make some people miss. So um, once I got to play, I'm like, all right, cool, you know what I'm saying? Let's just go in there and do it. Like, I was calm, completely calm. So I, I caught the ball and I seen the dude, uh, Trent Simpsons, come out there and I'm like, all right, he, he bigger, but I know I can make him miss because he big and, and kind of slower than me. So uh, I went inside, gave him a little jab, and then uh, I just used my strength after that. You know, uh, I wanted to be one strong. So I covered the ball up real strong and just, you know, just ran as strong as I could. Got one guy off me and then uh, got tackled at the first down. And then uh, it really didn't hit me until after I got up and I, and everybody was loud and all. I'm like, all right, dang, I really just won the game. Like, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy now. But in the heat of the moment, I really wasn't even thinking about too much. I was just just going, man. What, what was that celebration like, man, when you came back? It, come back to Columbia and – there's like thousands of people waiting on y'all to get off the bus to I'm sure the locker room celebration was awesome. What was that like kind of experiencing that at the end of the year there? Yeah, it, it kind of remind, reminded me of, you know, my last year in high school, we won the state championship. Year, and, you know, we all came back and it was fans out there. So uh, it definitely felt like we won a championship, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. that, that just shows how big the rivalry is down here. You know, once on the bus back, on the bus back home, people was explaining to me like how big the game was. I did I forgot that it wasn't a professional team in South Carolina and all that type of stuff. So like this is their professional game. So it definitely shows that this game means a lot. Definitely, definitely, man. So um obviously bowl practice is underway. Um you've been back out there, I guess, or, or been back in town. So what uh what's the energy been like at practice? And I know Spencer already talked about uh, one of his interviews I saw. It's a big opportunity maybe for some young guys. There's been some guys mm -hmm. that are moving on, some guys that, um, you know, are going to the league. What do you think this opportunity could be for some of your teammates who maybe have worked hard but just haven't had their chance yet this year? It's a statement game for them. You know, it's an opportunity for them to show, you know, the coaches, the fans, you know, and just their sales and believe in themselves that they can go out there and do it. You know, uh, we got a lot of young guys stepping up. We got a lot of older guys, you know, taking on bigger roles, you know, so uh, – Everybody just got to be ready, you know, but the practice at the end, the energy at practice is more so just uh, everything's free, cool, calm, collective, you know, just make sure we get getting everything down pat, you know, uh, and we just out there having fun. You know, that's what it feels like a lot. It feels like we just out there having fun now, you know, so it's, that's the cool thing about it. Definitely, definitely. Were you uh, were you surprised with the news of Sat leaving or not really? Um, I kind of thought like after the two games that – he probably would stay, you know, just because mm -hmm. he finished the season off pretty good. You know, uh, Cosette is, is a cool coach, you know. Uh, you know, I don't really want to, you know, put the blame all the way on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he um, mm -hmm. he had some good games. You know, he had some bad games. People messed up, you know. But uh, I definitely uh, was not surprised, you know, because, I mean, um, that was the, the, what the internet was talking about, you know. But I definitely thought he might have – he had an opportunity to stay, you know, after those last two games. So, yeah. Definitely. And I, I know the fans are curious. I don't know if you've spent much time yet, uh, maybe a little bit around uh, the new OC, Dow Loggins. Um, mm -hmm. what, what have maybe been your just your first impressions being around him a little bit and just getting to know him a little bit? Yeah, so uh, I, I see right now he's kind of just laid back and just trying to let the coach coach right now. You know, he's not trying to mm -hmm. you know, overstep his boundaries and like that. You know, I think he just uh, – you know, when it's his chance to coach, then he's going to coach. But right now he's just laid back, you know, just watching everything overflow. And uh, he cool, though, you know. I don't know. I talked to him a little bit, you know, just got to meet him. And uh, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Just chill, laid back. Juice, I got one non-football question for you. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm assuming you've been asked this before, but I haven't seen it anywhere. Where does the name Juice come from? So when you when you first came here, you were listed as like Antoine Wells. Yeah. But now every everybody calls you Juice now. Is that has that always been your nickname, or where did Juice yeah, come from? Yeah, it always been my nickname. Uh, on, my, on my official visit, uh, my dad was calling me Juice, so uh, <laughs> that's when um you know the coaches started calling me Juice. But also when the coaches you know met my high school coaches, they was calling me Juice. So I, I guess they kind of you know just uh got used to it. And I, I like it. You know, what I'm saying I feel like I'm, I'm building a brand for myself. You know, uh, building new NIL opportunities for me and stuff like that. But uh. It came from when I was a youngin playing rec ball, and um, it used to be Mack truck at first because I used to like run everybody over and stuff like that. Like I played fullback, and yeah. then um, you know, as I got older into like varsity people and stuff like that, I used to get the ball, like juke people, juke, and they were just like he juicing it, you know. So I used to juice it for like eighty yards, ninety yards, and it was just like he got the juice. And I feel like now, like my juice name is starting to become like a thing where I bring that energy now. You know, I feel like uh. 
I can light up a room, you know, with just the way I talk and, and the way I bring that energy in meetings and, and before the game, pregame, I'm yelling, I'm turned up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just always got that juice. So it's kind of becoming a, a different type of juice, but also I still be juicing it now too, though. So, I mean, it's whatever you want to put it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's been great for you on the NIL side, like you said. I think uh, I saw you had the local uh, NIL deal with the, the juice place and then the – yeah. uh, what's that? Tasty as fit. Tasty as fit, yeah. Yeah. Um, how has that been, man, just sort of taking advantage of some of these NIL opportunities for you? I saw the juice um, little graphic tee after one of the games, yeah, too, that had the juice yeah, box on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, man. You know, uh, I like doing NIL deals, and especially, like, locally, because it gets you – you get to, like, build a bond with, like, fans outside of, like, football and stuff like that. They get to know you on a personal level and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it, it's definitely been cool, though. You know, um, I'm, I'm happy I got that name because it definitely brought me some money and just uh, people just around me and stuff like that. So it's cool. Definitely. Last couple of things I got for you here. And um, so obviously I think um, with the season you've had, everybody knows you're going to have a decision to make after the bowl game. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us as much or as little as you want. Um, you know, where, where's your head at right now? Any thoughts on we coming back, we going to the league. Yeah. What's going to go into that, man? Um, a lot going on into, you know, I got to figure out my quarterback doing, you know, I got to figure out, you know, what's best for me mentally, you know, physically, you know, uh, and just, uh, really just, uh, how I feel, you know, I'm not going to rush into the decision, you know, it's, it's really just in the air right now, you know, and, um, we'll see after the, the bowl game. So you and Spencer safe to say then are going to sit down and talk about this. How, how much will y'all collaborate on this? So uh, I'm really just letting him do his thing. You know, I don't want to be in his ear, you know, nothing like that, you know, because this, this, this decision, you know, really determines our life. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is a big decision, you know. So uh, I'm really just letting him do his thing. He's going to let me do my thing. And uh, whatever he decide on, whatever I decide on, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the best for both of them. Definitely. And you mentioned a second ago uh, just your opportunities getting to know some of the local fans. Obviously, Gamecock fans supporting this program all year, I think, just about every game. That was on a Saturday was a sellout, except for the one that was moved for the hurricane to Thursday. So, uh, Juice, so far, what has this experience been like for you? And do you want to maybe uh, just give a little message to the fans that, that have been out there and kind of supporting you guys all year long? You know, uh, this uh, experience has been, you know, wonderful. You know, um, that decision I made to enter the transfer portal probably was, you know, would definitely go down as probably top three, one of my best decisions I ever made in my life, you know, because, uh, you know, I didn't I, – I knew what I had, what I was capable of, but, you know, just, you know, coming here and just, you know, dominating again, you know, I just, I, it's wonderful, man. And just the people is wonderful also, you know, like seeing the little kids run up to me, yelling my name, juice, asking for gloves and stuff like that, man. It, it's, it's just different, man, you know. And um, I'm very blessed to be in this situation, you know, um, and I'm happy. You know, I'm genuinely happy right now while I'm at in life. So uh, that's the main thing. And I'm, I'm definitely, you know – Gonna remember, you know, just this this experience that I went through for a long time. That is South Carolina wide receiver Juice Wells. Uh, Juice, we are happy for you as well, man. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. We'll be watching in the bowl game, and uh, we'll be looking out for that uh, that big decision soon, man. So again, we uh, appreciate the time. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Most of.